Hello, this is David. Welcome to my new video. So what I thought I'd do is rather than do a low budget review, I'd um, talk to you about a computer that I have that's now been rendered obsolete. So in 2014, I acquired an, an IBM Think Center M51. It's, it's actually an IBM Think Center because it's before uh, they got bought out by Lenovo. Um, the and I'm reading this from the uh, Wikipedia page for the Think Center M series. Um, the M series desktops are part of Lenovo's Think Center product line, formerly an IBM brand. Uh, Lenovo acquired the Think Center desktop brand following its purchase of IBM's personal computing division in 2005. So this is the last of the. IBM's it has the IBM logo in the in the front um, so what I decided is that um, I was going to use it to install pfSense but I decided it was too nice so I just I installed uh, Mint Linux on it and got an HP thin client and uh, installed pfSense onto that and I actually got a whole bunch of uh, HP thin clients and uh, I, inst I installed it gave it to friends and family um, and did pretty well with that. Um, so, what was the problem with this? Well, uh, specs are... I think we can come up with the specs here for the machine. Um, initially, it had... Uh, we're going to see the, uh, the uh, settings here. Oh, here we go. System Summary. Um, okay, here the the uh, it has Intel Pentium four CPU two point eight gigahertz with hyper threading. Um, it was the last of the of the single pro uh, single processor with hyper threading. So it's like basically a, it's one processor, but it appears in the OS as two processors We're using hyper threading. Um, the active video is uh, Intel 9156 graphics chip accelerated. Um, uh, the, it initially came with a 40 gigabyte drive, but I upgraded that later on, and it had a CD uh, ROM drive. Um, I upgraded that to a DVD burner. Uh, so um, the problem with this computer is that it, it has is a 32-bit CPU, um, which is okay, but you have to install a 32-bit operating system on it. With 64-bit CPU, you can install either a 32-bit uh, operating system or a 64-bit operating system. Though why you'd want to intentionally cripple it by installing a 32-bit OS on it, um, I really don't know. So... Again, I was able to install 32-bit uh, uh, Mint Linux onto it, and I was able to install um, the Arduino IDE, and I was able to work on our Arduino projects. I was able to install HexChat, and I was able to install uh, Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. So uh, it's pretty good. Um, so then in 2017... I actually upgraded every, um, so I said, well, let's give it an upgrade. So I, I got the, I maxed out the fastest processor you can install on this, on, on this, uh, computer. I it had a 3.0 gigahertz processor. I, I increased the memory from one gigabyte to three gigabytes, as you can see here. Um, and I got the maximum... Um, storage, which was uh, two, uh, from 40 gigabytes to 2 terabytes. Um, so this is pretty good. Um, and I, I uh, upgraded the, the, the CD-ROM drive to a DVD burner. Um, and this is all, and so I had it pretty good. So this is like my, my secondary computer, not my, my primary computer. Um, so it was pretty good. 
um, and in a small form factor computer. It's like basically it's, it's similar to the Spark Station LX where it was a 46, but it, um, they uh, were able to put a lot of machine into a small case. Um, so, but the problem with this is that is that um, it would overheat often. So anytime it did anything that was CPU intensive, you could hear like the fan was going full blast. Um, in fact, uh, that was part of the problem with it. Um, eventually, it overheated and cooked the CPU. So that's why you see here uh, it has a 2.8 gigahertz processor because the 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 CPU that I upgraded it to, it was essentially cooked. Um, so I downgraded it to 2.8 gigahertz. Still pr a pretty good computer. But uh, the problem was that um, I went to... I was on Google Chrome and went to access YouTube. And they said, uh, you need to ha um, upgrade Google Chrome for uh, YouTube and it's a but I couldn't update because they they discontinued 32-bit binaries for Google Chrome so that was essentially it rendered the computer essentially obsolete um, and it was kind of slow anyway so I just retired it so anyway that's the story of my uh, Lenovo well, IBM uh, Think Center M51 uh, rendered obsolete uh, because they discontinued Google Chrome. So, thank you for watching this. Uh, um, like, comment, subscribe it, and uh, subscribe to the channel so you'll be informed of the latest low budget review or videos like this. Anyway, thanks for watching.